The member for McKellar. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Treasurer. Will the Treasurer outline for the House how the government is ensuring the economic security of all Australians who have saved for their retirement? Is the Treasurer aware of any other higher taxing alternative approaches? The Treasurer has the call. Great work on the committee. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to say to the member for McKellar what a brilliant job he's done on the parliamentary committee, standing up for people who are going to be hurt by Labor's retirees. Day. A brilliant job, Mr. Speaker, <coughs> including standing up for over 10,000 people in his own electorate who are going to be hit by Labor's dreaded tax, Mr. Speaker. And imagine what those 10,000 plus people in McKellar thought when they turned on the 7:30 report last night to see the smug member for McMahon arrogantly dismiss the concerns of more than one million Australians by saying that the Labor Party won't change one jot, won't change one bit of their dreaded retirees tax, which is a $55 billion hit on Australian retirees who have done nothing wrong, Mr Speaker. These people have done nothing wrong except diligently save and plan for their own retirement. Member for like Rosie, Mr Speaker, whose story to the inquiry was told by a friend and colleague. She is a school teacher, aged 53, living alone in a one-bedroom unit, who through her self-managed super fund is aiming to retire with savings that generate an income of $50,000. Under the Labor Party's policy, she stands to lose over $10,000 a year Mr. Speaker, and is wondering whether she should change her asset allocation and go on the pension. Mr. Speaker. In the words of one of her colleagues, Rose is distraught, and she doesn't understand why Labor are going after the little people. Mr. Speaker. School teachers vote Labor. School teachers vote Labor, her colleague said, but Member come the federal election, there is no chance, Mr. Speaker. Now, the leader of the opposition, the leader of the opposition, thought he would dig a bigger hole and stand beside the member for McMahon and say, like Margaret Thatcher, he was not for turning. He was not for turning on this policy. But I tell you what, another quote of Margaret Thatcher would have been more apt, Mr. Speaker because Margaret Thatcher said the problem with socialism is that you at the end of the day you run out of other people's money Mr Speaker and the Labor Party is running out of spending the hard earned taxpayers money and now they're coming after more than 1 million retirees and their self managed super funds only one side of politics will stand with retired Australians and that's the liberal and national government under this prime minister